As the NFL trade deadline looms, the San Francisco 49ers find themselves at the center of growing trade buzz, but it may not be the move most fans expect. With a glaring need emerging on the defensive line, speculation suggests the 49ers are eyeing key additions that could be crucial in their playoff push. Will GM John Lynch make the big splash needed to signal the team's commitment to a deep postseason run? The San Francisco 49ers are becoming a focal point of trade speculation ahead of the NFL trade deadline. While much of the buzz is focused on the 49ers adding a wide receiver, reporters around the team see San Francisco targeting a different position group. On the latest episode of their 49ers Plus Forward Slash Dash podcast, San Francisco Standard columnist Tim Kawakami and athletic reporter Matt Barrow said they expect the 49ers to focus on trading for a defensive lineman over a wide receiver before the November 5th deadline. The 49ers have already lost defensive tackle Javon Hargrave for the regular season with a torn triceps, and Barrow said that Yetter Grossmatos, who is on injured reserve, may not come back until late next month. The position used to be a major strength for the 49ers but has been a big weak spot this year. This is a position that they like to have capable bodies at, and right now, they're thin, Barrow said of the defensive line. It makes a ton of sense to add somebody. During the time that head coach Kyle Shanahan and general manager John Lynch have run the team, the Niners have often made mid-season trades to bolster their defensive line. They did it twice just last season, adding Randy Gregory from the Broncos and Chase Young from the Commanders. Kawakami and Barrows discussed several players from the NFL who could interest the 49ers, like New York Giants rusher Aziz Ajilari and Zadarius Smith from the Browns. But the majority of names they discussed were former 49ers on other teams, including Young, the Titans' Arden Key, and even some bigger names like Arik Armstead with the Jaguars and the Colts' DeForest Buckner. Columnist Mike Silver at The Athletic also discussed the 49ers' trade possibilities Thursday and mentioned Buckner as an option. He said a reunion seems unlikely there, though, and that a move for DJ Jones from the Broncos is more realistic. He also identified the Patriots' Devon Godshow as a possible trade option at defensive tackle. Overall, Silver wrote, the need to add on the defensive line is more important than at wide receiver. With Hargrave out and Armstead now in Jacksonville, the 49ers feel a need for some added punch on the interior of their line, especially given the susceptibility to inside runs that come with their wide nine front, Silver wrote. Given Lynch's history of making trades, though, Barrows thinks Lynch would be sending a bad message to the players if he didn't make any moves. Precedent's been set, Barrows said. If they don't make a trade, isn't that sort of tantamount to, this will absolutely be interpreted this way by certain segments of the internet, that the 49ers have given up. No trade? That means that it's a white flag, we don't think that we're going to make the playoffs this season. There's almost pressure on Lynch and company to make a trade, just for the sheer signal it sends that we think we're still in this. We've got a shot. With a season-defining trade potentially on the horizon, the 49ers' next steps are bound to send a clear message. Whether they pull the trigger on a big defensive acquisition or stay the course, fans and analysts alike will be watching closely as the clock ticks down on the trade deadline.